You guys have been waiting for it, and it is here, the by rotor from Sid Modding. Hey, uh, what's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today, we got 22 mods for you for all platforms. We have 10 new and 7 updates. For console only, we have one update. In PC and Mac, we have four new. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We have the Twin Screw XBR2 from Sid Modding. This bad boy right here, you guys have been waiting a while to see it. The last time we saw it was called the B Rotor and it's here. Hey, Twin Screw XBR2. This has 3D tracks, which is great to see, and we've got plenty of customization as well. 306 horsepower, 620 liters of fuel, 31 miles per hour. That boy's quick. At 14,100 liter capacity. However, you can extend that up to 29,100 liters. Humongous. Numbers? You've got basically none through one through 19. Oversized sign, we have no. We have standard and back to no again. So you can add those oversized if you like. Pipe, you have short pipe or a long pipe. This is gonna work with basically any header that you want. Put any header on the front of this and you're gonna be just fine. Wheel setups, you have the 30 and the 36 inch. So great to see there. Um, I would just go with the 36s if I were you. I know it's six grand extra, but you're gonna want that extra, <laughs> extra width there. Lights, we have no. We have extra ones on the front, extra ones on the back. We can see right there. And then pipe lights, front and pipe, back and pipe, front and back, and then all. And then lastly, we have the Green Star 3000. It's not gonna do anything, but you could do basically standard, a tablet form, Green Star and tablet, or none. So all for looks, it is not useful in any way, shape, or form. But it's cool to see. Next up is the Flegal TMK260 by Bayern Agrar. This is going to be a new tipper for all platforms. 20,500 liter capacity, main color. You've got Flegal green, light green, and black. You've also got room colors of silver and black there as well. Extension, we've got a from 20,500 up to 27,000. So you can put the extension there if you like. Wheels, the BKT, these are on pre PC only, I'm assuming. Consoles, you guys probably have a Lizard or something through there. Um, in those, we've got a couple different ones. If you like, choose what you like, and Michelin tires as well. Design, we have gray default, we have gray with warning, red default, red with warnings, and back to gray again. Next is the Z105-1. This is a Lizard mower. It's going to have a 30 horsepower requirement, 1.6 meters at 12 miles per hour. Uh, this looks extremely like some SIP mods that we've got very very similar hope you like red and green because that's what you got covers standard uh one two couple different ones through there pick what you like and attach your type it says new and old yeah i don't see anything changing next up we have the pitchfork pack this has a uh, uh, bell fork as well as a pallet fork in it both of these can be changed up you've got well your old colors so i hope you like those you can change up the tines and you change up the back again it's also available in a pallet fork form and it hooks up here at three point. Hey, nice. Next is something very, very cool from Ada Modding. This is going to be the Weed Trimmer. This has a two horsepower engine. It uh, holds six liters of fuel and goes 11 miles an hour. I don't know if you can run that fast or not. You could change up a little stripe color on the back. I uh, think green, orange, whatever you like through there. Uh, they did add some custom colors here. So we have steel brown, steel gray, magenta. We also have the steel orange color. Uh, still white. So this is uh, basically a steel lizard trimmer thing, but it's a lizard brand. Uh, you know what? I think that we should definitely get one of these and try it out. So this one's a little bit interesting. Uh, you come up and you start it. And, and then I've got some mod that is... Uh, there we go, and then we can turn it on, I think. Uh, and then I think I have to get out of it again. I don't actually know. There we go, okay, now it's all, <laughs> it's, it's a little interesting because your player stands still. Do we have to lower it? Uh, A-Dub, I have no idea what you've done here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have the Timber Frame Workshop. However, it doesn't say that. It's Timber Frame Field Shed Small. Of course it is. How could I have been so silly? Uh, this is going to uh, 
Well, have your workshop in here. There you go. Everything is good. It is seasons ready. Snow roof appears on the roof uh, whenever you got snow. So there you go. Got some lights in here. Great to see that. We'll go through here. It actually does look very nice. They've done a great job putting everything together. I dig it. I dig it. Uh, my question would be, let's see, can we do anything with this area? Of course not. Our players are too big. Um, that door doesn't open anyway, and I'm stuck. Of course. Uh, let's see if we can go up a little bit. About right here. And can we get something up here to open? Uh, maybe, but I'm not able to. Next, we have the old small silo. However, this one's not that either. It's grain silo. Please make these cohesive. These are very hard to find. 30,000 liters, so not a whole lot. It only holds your seven primary crops. Um, it's only going to cost you $17,000. So there is that. Load through here. Load there. All good. Hey, now here's what I can get behind. Barn with a garage. Barn with garage. That is how you do it right there. <laughs> this is garage. It's got solar panels on it. It's actually going to give you some money. Uh, it could give you $20, $40, or $60 per hour, depending on what you are using with. Those doors? I don't, <laughs> I don't think those are doors. <laughs> I think I'm going in circles here. The inside looks really, really good, as a matter of fact. Actually, go up here. Yeah, check this out. We got a little hayloft up here. Uh, can get up here little bit tight but oh i guess those were doors <laughs> nice and then you've got areas all around great animations on the latches i wonder if this is a completely pull through yeah there we go choom, choom. That is cool. Your next to last new mod for all platforms today is Buildings with Cows. However, unfortunately, I have a mod installed that has completely bricked my animals. Yay, that's awesome. So this is going to be $55,500 daily upkeep, 10 bucks per day. Capacity is going to be 40 cows. It is seasons ready and it is manure system supported ready if you guys are on PC. And your last new mod for all platforms today is going to be Village Houses. Each house is solely for decoration in order to build build a village. There's no sleep trigger on these prices between $3,215 and $3,842. There is no maintenance cost per day on either one of these, so you are good there. Beautiful decorations on these. I'm actually digging this a lot. These are going to be great. Hey, you want to build yourself a uh, an area? These are going to be the ones to use. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms today, and Farm Central Soul has an update to their new Holland TL Series 2012 Brazil. This is going to be version 1.1. Motorization options been added. Wheel options, weight options, fender options, new engine sound. we got a lot going on. Let's take a look. Configurations. We have standard, 500 kilogram weight or not. Wheel brands, Trailborg, Lizard, Michelin tires. Trailborgs are normal. Lizard tires are going to be quite a few different things through there. Pick what you like. And Michelin tires. Similar story through here. Really, really digging these. We'll leave those on there. Wheel weights. You can add wheel weights which is very different and really cool. I like that option. Choose your wheels and then choose your weights. We should do that on everything. I like that. Front fenders? No? Yes, of course. And then we have the 75, 85, and 95. That's going to be 78, 88, and 98 horsepower, respectively. And, of course, front loader. We also have an update to the Lizard Car Trailer. This is going to be version 1.3. Added new wheels. Ayo! We got wide tires now. How's about an update to the Agrament Brzeg N022 version 1.001? Fix some bugs. Icon and shop has been changed. And new PTO model. STV Modding has updated their Case IH Puma CVX Tier 3 to version 1.2. New color designs, new tire configurations, and fix some bugs. So let's take a look at the color configurations. Main color, standard, red metal, ooh, red metal, red matte. Man, that looks good. Black as well as gray. Gray looks great. Let's leave that there. New tire configurations as well. So Trailborg, Michelin, Midas tires, knock in. A Trailborg, we have standard, wheel weight, wide tires, wides with weights, narrow tires, rear twins, twins all the way around, back to standard. In Michelin, we have a standard tire, wide tires, wides with weights, back to standard. Midas tires. We have standard, wides, back and forth between those, and Nucky, we have just a road tire. Fans of the Brazilian Mega Silo and Grain Cell, hey, we got one for you here, version 1.2. Added a colloquial selling point? 
then colorable selling point would be it. You can see that at the bottom left-hand corner. Next to last mod update, it's going to be for the Timber Frame Field Shed version 1.001. Soil textures improved, smaller texture and model improvements, and columns in the door reduced in size. So we'll take a look at those real quick. Bloop. And columns. A little bit smaller. I like it. And your last mod update for today is going to be the Echo Dealer Sign Pack version 1.1.1. Country and city names have been changed according to brands. Making our way into mod updates for console players day. We only have one of them, and this is going to be the old farm countryside from Shamba. This is going to be version 5.0.5 of the map already. The map has been adapted to the new productions for bakery and confectionery, as well as the tomato juice production. And lastly today, let's make our way into new mods for PC and Mac players, starting off with the MV5014. This is going to be an 8,300 liter capacity slurry tank does slurry digest eight and water if you have the manure system turned on 55 horsepower 11 is required 11 meter spread nine miles per hour main color you got yellow brown blue green white and red rim colors all of the above plus base game gray thank you we're gonna go with yellow and the design color let's just go with the blue here Looking great. Design we have with this with sticker black, white, or none. Next is the Bailey Bell and Pallet trailer. Just Bell trailer and general rim colors, all of the above. Main colors, you got the Bailey green plus all of the above. So you can choose whatever you like. We're just sticking with standard. Wheels, we have knock in. We also have Trelleborg. Back and forth between those two. Design, we have standard. Only on the front, only on the back. None or all of the above. Beacons, no. We got left, right, both. Great to see that. And that is all your customization. Love Bailey trailers. Next to last new mod for PC and Mac players today is the Grain Cleaner from Dazed. This is a global company mod. And yes, it is in my game right now. Surprising, I'm sure. Uh, this is mainly to be used with Dazed Williamson Farms um, complex. Use that with that. However, you could use this however if you would like. So there you go. Um, basically this to make seed simply deposit one or four or one of four grains, wheat, barley, oats, and canola into the hopper and place the herbicide into the draining rack. Once the grain has been treated, it can be withdrawn as bags or as bulk. To clean the grain, simply deposit one of the four wheat, barley, odor, canola into the hopper. The grain will be cleaned. In the current version, 10% extra crop is added, and the cleanings will be separated. These can later be sold or used as pig food. It's going to cost $250,000. And your last mod today, new mod for PC and Mac player, small gas station. This is a classic small check fuel tank twelve thousand dollars gonna get you this daily maintenance of 50 bucks per day it's a little high unlimited diesel of course seasons ready and it has lights at night well guys that is gonna be it for today hope you enjoyed the mod video if you did make sure you drop a like on it get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the go ham fam make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel if you haven't seen day two recap of farmcon 21 from yesterday make sure you check that out they showed off the new usa map a little bit they also showed off some gameplay and even got to see some gearboxes and some old john deere tractor oh man can't wait all right that's gonna be it hope you guys have a great day we'll see you later peace